Welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen, and today we're going to talk about how to arrange flowers in a non-traditional way, and you don't need any special equipment, just your flowers, a vase, and uh, your foliage. Now, here we're showing the vase already filled up. I did it with slightly warm water to get the um, flowers to open up more, and I'm sticking in some branches, and you can use foliage too. Notice that you've got kind of a Y at the end of some of your branches and things. Just lay them over, cut them in, so you're going to use this is sort of a frog to hold your flowers. Usually a frog or oasis or taping of the top of the vase is used to hold the flowers in place and that way you get your strategic design but we're using this in a more loose sort of way. Next comes the flowers and you want to start with your more major flower, your biggest one that you want to be strategically placed. You're going to cut off or pull off all the extra leaves and foliage so that they're not inside the water. Then you're going to lay in your next or secondary color. We're just layering colors here. So I've got about a dozen peach roses that I'm putting in here. Uh, I've got my larger flower, more prominent. I'm doing whites, peaches, and then a light pink. And so now that I've see, you're seeing I'm transitioning to adding more color in, here's my pink flower. It's a soft pink color. And so once I've got it full enough, uh, and I realize you can't see the whole thing, but you can kind of see how I'm just layering here. Um, then I start adding in some secondary colors. Now I have some white alstroemeria, which can stick up just a little bit above. And so I'm just strategically placing those in and you'll see how they were placed later, but later. But the main piece that I want you to take from this is that you're just doing things in layers and you're not placing, um, um, individual colors as you go you want to place in all the flowers from that color family in layers so once you place those in don't be afraid to bunch in color too I've got a bunch of these smaller green small mums that I'm putting in here and then now I've got some other tall white flowers just um, I'm placing a few in here just um, like there's like three or four so now I've got my flowers done and you want to stick in your card and you've got it all ready for your loved one. Thanks so much for joining me at Good Knit Kisses. I hope you have a great day and happy crafting. Bye-bye.